In New York City lives an artist who's created hundreds of musical instruments out of rubbish. He combines guitar and violin strings with discarded and found objects to form what is both sculpture and playable musical instruments. His work is shown in galleries worldwide. He's won awards and inspired generations. I wanted to meet with Ken Butler and discover what his inspiration is. I call them hybrid instruments. And the source of it, you could say, is this, this, the idea of bricolage, B-R-I-C-O-L-A-G-E, which if you look that up, people out there, you can see that it's, it's a, not a well-known term, and it means creating a new world by repurposing, reconfiguring, and transforming the nature of the existing parts of the old world. So mm. recycling, using what is at hand, and transforming it. So that idea of fusing different disciplines together, the visual arts, music, and design, and then function together uh, seemed interesting and, and a relatively unexplored area. What has inspired you? Well, I, I was mainly as a child was into the visual arts. Uh, I mean, I ended up getting a master's degree in painting and I was playing violin and a little bit of guitar uh, and people told me that I couldn't be all three things. You have to pick one or the other. You can't be a painter and a musician, etc. Now that's changed a little bit now, but I thought, you know, yes I can. And so I thought when I was 30, I made that first instrument and I, it occurred to me that I could have a career uh, because if you make your own instrument, there's no rules for it, there's no history you can kind of create your own path that way. It gives you a certain amount of freedom to express yourself, and then also it's visually interesting. You can exhibit it as sculpture. It automatically bridges disciplines. So in a way, it's, it's about the human body, the head, neck, body, all string instruments. Body. Yeah, all, uh, str all string instruments have that. Thing. So, you know, a, a little film reel and a comb, um, and di different objects that, that have that parameter Let's say something as ridiculous as a key. Uh-huh. So whatever the whatever that, that configuration of the shape. It's a brush. There's a brush. How did you get started building these instruments? Well, I happen to have right here. I will show you the story of the very first one. 1978, I found this little hatchet on the ground. I picked it up. And I thought, oh, that would be kind of a cool little violin, you know, hey man, bring your axe to the jam session. This is a chin rest I put very comfortably on the blade of the axe, drilled two holes, tuning pegs, put the fingerboard, and then I had a contact microphone on the bridge, plug it into my guitar amp, and it sounded like a crappy violin. <laughs> What is this? Well, it's I, it's kind of a, like a piano. It only has 12 keys, one octave, uh, but it plays it plays eight different radios all tuned to different stations. I made this in 1998. It's called the Urban Grand Piano. Mm. Kind of an urban noisy kind of thing. So there are also some other mechanical devices, part of part, doorbell parts, little solenoids that hit up against some objects. So this is the Projection Grand Piano. Uh, an incandescent keyboard, and it's got tw uh, 24 keys, two octaves, and it's made from street-found materials shelving, and each of the keys triggers different projected light sources that project out on the walls in moving patterns. Okay, I really want to try playing some of these. Oh, well... Each little thing hanging off here plays a different note. Yeah, well you have, the, you have a contact microphone here and here, and they're ganged up together, so wherever you... Anything you tap or anything that's attached to the piece of wood where the contact microphone will make a sound. I have this Swiss...
whistle stick drink mixer that has a guitar pick. So you just kind of start sticking things onto the instrument. You take a tennis racket and a hockey club and stick them all together, put a contact mic on there. And That's right. It's, very, it's, it's kind of the path of least resistance. This one reminds me of America because it's a bunch of weapons. Excuse me here, let me... There's a, there's a knife in the back here. Whoa! Yeah, sorry. Okay. Don't, Don't stab worry. me. One thing for sure, Ken can really shred. Butler has made so many musical instruments that he doesn't name them anymore. He performs live at the looping station at venues and art galleries and has recorded full-length albums with his instrument creations. Ken truly is a new genre artist. And I'd like to thank you for subscribing to my channel, Special Head, or to Ken Butler. And there's two more videos of other instrument creators that you can click on at the bottom. This is your adventure. You decide where to go.